Hello everyone. Remember in the scriptures it mentioned the serpent told Eve from this fruit, you eat from it, your positivity will not die. Well, they did. What this has to do with Watchtower? Well, Watchtower has lied many times. And one of the lies they told from now, they said that Adam and Eve would not be resurrected. But I did find out in a publication was written by the Watchtower in 1918 called Revelation of Christ. And in this book mention some interesting things. So before I go any further, I call Watchtower and ask them a question about Adam Eve are they going to be resurrected in the future or they would never be resurrected? So let's see what he says. Good afternoon, Radio Disc. Hey, how are you doing today? Very good, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Uh, good. One small question. From, from our teaching, I, I, I keep forgetting. Uh, is Adam Eve supposed to be resurrected or uh, they're not going to be resurrected uh, when the uh, earth turns into a paradise? Oh, okay. Good question. Um, can you hold for a moment, please? Let me look up. Uh, I think we have an article on that. Hold on, please. Okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, the answer he gives me when he comes back. Okay, here's the second part. Thank you for holding, Charlie. I had other things uh, coming up. So, uh, do you have the book called "What Does the Bible Really Teach"? Uh, I don't have. I don't have it with, with me. I'm you not have it. Okay. All right. Um, if, if you have it at home, perhaps you can review chapter five. And that explains um, that Adam and Eve uh, lost their um, their um, their life because uh, Jehovah told them, "On the day you do this, you will die if you do this." And, and that's what they did. They disobeyed, so they died, and so they would not have a prospect for everlasting life as they did originally. Wow, that, but, that uh, that's 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 amazing. Because um, I'm looking at something, it was from a Revelation book. It says, Adam himself shall come forth from the prison house in which he has lain so long and may, and he will receive gain um, by God, the will of God, and the favor of grace at the hands of Christ, and the unspeakable boon at eternal of eternal life but by this revelation book um in 19 uh 1918 saying that uh adam and eve would be resurrected back to life mm -hmm. okay so that was 1919 huh? uh 1918 18 wow that's a long time ago <laughs> yeah so um What's the name of this book again? It's called Revelation of Jesus Christ according to the uh, Santaga text. According to the what now? Uh, Santaga, S-I-N A-I-T-I-C text. Oh, okay. Well, okay. This is what it says on the on the on the uh, the the uh, no, that's not it. That's that's something else. 
That's why I talk, talk about it. it's, it's a revelation. But uh, Judge Rutherford wrote that book, and it says right here. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so so what uh, what we have come to understand is uh, what's in our latest publication, and that's uh, so that would be chapter five if you want to review what the book says. That's our uh, understanding at this time. Okay. Okay, I understand at this time, uh, is there new evidence to show from the uh, from the research what I just found that Adam and Eve would not uh, lost the hope of being resurrected from the past Watchtower literature? Um, yeah, so you, if you want to review the, this book, what does the Bible really teach, then you'll, you'll see our uh, current understanding on, the, on that. Okay, thank you very much. Then. You're very welcome. Have a good day. Okay, bye-bye. So my question is, if their God Jehovah told the Watchtower at that time that Adam and Eve would be resurrected in the future, and they would be the last ones to be resurrected, why did he change his mind? I mean, doesn't the Bible says whatever comes out of his mouth will not return without results? So if he told the Watchtower that uh, Adam and Eve was going to be resurrected, and later down the line he changed his mind, wouldn't that put God to be equal with Satan? No, words, God lied, saying that Adam and Eve would have been resurrected, and now in the future they won't be resurrected? People, that is why it's very important to do your research. Because Watchtower makes up their own information to deceive anyone to learn the real truth about their teaching, their false doctrine, and all their lies. You see it right here, almost close, not quite near the bottom, but a little ways halfway, Adam will be resurrected back to life. So, all I'm trying to say is, people, you can't believe the Watchtower. The men that controls the Watchtower and the ones who runs the Watchtower are evil, misleading, and they're going to take you down to the road of destruction. In this case, a blind man falling a blind man into a pit, and both will fall and both will die. So that's all I'm going to say. The evidence is right here from their teaching, and God doesn't change his mind. Now, the God Jehovah changed his mind because he'd been lying to Jehovah's Witnesses all the years. So that proves one thing, people. Jehovah cannot be God because God don't lie. Jehovah has been lying so many years, false states. And also, if you notice a little bit up here, it says, Nesting order will come forth the ancient worthies. Ancient worthies. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was the one supposed to be coming back in 1925. Abraham King David, all those ancient worthies were supposed to come back to life. So, did they come back to life? No, they did not. So, ch choose what's right and choose what's wrong. It's your choice. You can believe the Watchtower for all those lies, and you will follow them to the road of destruction, or you can do like we did. Get out.
Just like Revelation say, get out of her, my people, if you don't want to share in her faith. So that's the reason I'm not in the watchtower anymore, because I will not follow the watchtower anymore. Thank you and have a nice day.